This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 Map Burst Impressions video. Today, we're going to take a look at new mini brun. But before that, this video is brought to you by Jim Melvin and DB3005. Thank you for being Farm Barons. So the new mini brun map can be found over at the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. Let me read you a little bit of the description. Welcome to new mini brun. Now, for those of you that have played farm sim 19, you may remember mini brun was a map in FS 19. I think it was much loved by players of small farms and it is back in a little bit larger format for Farm Sim 22. This map offers 26 fields, four of which are meadows, six purchasable forest areas, and three building plots. One pre-placed farm in the village with cow and chicken sheds. The chicken, or sorry, the cow shed is built in slurry tanks and support for the grazing mod in PC. So that is a grazing mod for PC players only. All decoration on the farm can be sold via the build mode. One biogas plant that can be completely sold. That is a really cool feature and something that I thought about with doing map videos after Pumps and Hoses was released was can you buy the BGA and can you actually sell the BGA? Because with the ability to build out your own BGA as part of the Pumps and Hoses DLC, being able to possibly replace what is there with whatever you want could be pretty attractive. Many ground textures and plants in the construction mode, a total of 19 production and sell points. Wood containers from the Platinum expansion can be sold at the sawmill. We all know that wood containers in the Platinum expansion bring us big money on Silver Run Forest. Will they bring just as much money here on New Mini Brun? I'd be interested to know. Two traders for consumer goods, two filling stations for diesel, methane, and electricity, a pond for water extraction, field grass as a new crop, as well as district heating and soy drink as new products. We just had another map where we had soy drink, field grass, and heat as an option with respect to production. Support for precision farming with a custom soil map, fully developed AI road network tested for auto drive, and 16 hidden collectibles. Now there are some notes related to this map that are specific, I think, to multiplayer. So all placed walls, gates, fences, and hedges, and curbstones can be sold by the player with farm ID one. That's not a big deal in single player because you are farm ID one. If you are, for whatever reason, playing this map in a multiplayer though, only the first farm will be able to delete those decorative items. Large bushes on the building site in the northeast and southwest can be removed with a mulcher tiller. You can remove the curb stones on the terrain at various locations in the construction menu by clicking on the demolish button. After purchasing the biogas plants, the game must be saved and loaded once so that the compacted chaff can be covered. That is interesting. Maybe that's relating to the ability to sell that. I don't know. And then there is a link to the discussion forum where the official support is going to be provided. Let's go ahead and load on in. This map does have two required mods that are part of this map. So if you try to load the map up without those mods, it will prompt you to download those as well. That is metal fences with gates and then stone walls. In addition to those two mods, we are going to use the mods that we typically use when we take a look at maps. That is additional field info, additional game settings, field lease, field calculator, and precision farming. Let's go ahead and watch the map load on in with the log up. If you do load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, you will find that the main starting farm is built out exactly how you're going to see it here in new farmer mode, with the exception of you do not own any machinery. So only the starting machinery is going to be found in a new farmer mode. You also do not own any land in those alternate play modes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. And as I said, this is a smaller map. At first glance, you're like, oh, that looks like a pretty good size map. But if we scroll on out, that's gonna be a standard PDA, right? So we're gonna punch in. My guess is this is about a 25% map. 
about a quarter of the size of a standard map. We do have all of our standard crop types available to us here in Farm Sim 22. In addition to, we have a new crop in field grass. If we take a look at our lands area, you'll see we start out by owning the main farm, which is farmland 28, as well as farmland 14, 11, 22, and 21. There is a viable BGA down here at farmland 50 for $74,000. There are also two building plots, one here farmland 29 for $36,000 and farmland 27 in the Northwest for $59,000. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other farmlands that are available on this map. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how big those farmlands are, and if those farmlands include any fields, what field or fields they include, and then ultimately how much those are going to cost. We're then going to be able to cross-reference this list with the field calculator screen, which we are about to go take a look at. And the field calculator screen is going to show us the actual field sizes as opposed to the farm land sizes. And then we can go back and compare the farm lands and the fields to see how expensive buying any one particular field may be. This map does have the standard crop calendar that is available to us in Farm Sim 22 with the addition of field grass. Taking a look at our prices screen, we do have the ability to sell all of our base game crops that are available to us here in Farm Sim 22. We also have the ability to sell our eggs, wool, and milk. And then silage, hay, straw, and grass is also available for sale. Taking a look down through our production, we do indeed have the... <coughs> Taking a look at our production, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game production items that are available to us in Farm Sim 22 as well, which is always a good thing to see. Now, when we get down here, we do have the ability to buy bulk lime. We also have a stone crusher available on the map. We do have field grass added as a new crop type. But the one thing that concerns me is there's no place to sell it according to the prices screen. We also have heat. And as we have seen in another map, that is a part of a biomass heating plant that is added to the map. I think heat is sold air quote sold at the top of the hour, but I really don't understand why field grass is missing. We also have soy drink or soy milk available on the map. We can sell that at the supermarket. We do also have iron ore. So if you wish to put down the iron furnace or maybe you wanna make the barrels or the other aspects of the platinum expansion production that require iron, well, you're going to be able to buy the iron ore and then you're going to be able to take that and produce your iron or your steel rolls and then use that further for your platinum expansion production. Now, with respect to platinum expansion production, we do not have the ability to sell any of the platinum expansion production items built into the map. You will need to put down the Silver Run Forest Market in order to sell those particular items at this juncture. And if you are playing with pumps and hoses, we do have the ability to sell our separated manure. Take a look at our animals. We start out with 20 cows and 20 chickens and roosters. We also have contracts available on this map, and we start out by owning a large greenhouse. This map does have 16 collectibles scattered around the map also to collect. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the small tractor, Valtra N135, and the Steyr 8150. We have then the Valtra 8750 medium tractor. For our harvester, we have the Nova 330 harvester. That's paired up with the PowerStream 500 grain header. And then there are no header trailers available. We have the Rudolph TDK 301 RP and the Welger DK 115 trailers. We have the PO5 XL Agrimaz Plow. We have the Sino 4000 Super Cultivator. The KG 3001 Super Power Harrow that is paired up with the Senta 3000 Super Cedar. We have the Amazon ZATS 3200 Fertilize Spreader. We have the FarmTech Supris 800 Slurry Tanker. We have the Pottinger Novacat 301 AMED Pro Front Mower. The Kuhn GF8712 Tether. The Semez Z2840H Windrower. 
We have a Boss Alpine 251 four edge wagon. We have a Hauer XB 190 front loader. For our front loader, we have a pallet fork, universal bucket, bell spike, and big bag lifter. And then we ran it off with a 1500, 1000, and 1000 kilogram front weight. Now, with respect to mods and DLCs, this map does not have any custom vehicles or implements that are a part of the map. That's why we're not seeing anything show up here in the mods and DLCs section. While we're at it, let's just go ahead and jump and take a look at our build mode. We do have some required mods, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we have any custom sheds. We also do not have any custom silos that are part of this particular map or silos extensions. We do have a modded container. This is a Meridian tank for lime, it appears, that will hold 100,000 liters that we can place down. We also have a placeable vehicle workshop and a placeable weighing station that is available on this map. And we do have a custom farmhouse that we can put down. We also have a doormat and a sports bag. And I believe the sports bag is gonna be our wardrobe trigger. Under production, we do have the ability to place the biomass heating plant production that's gonna make solid fertilizer and heat as well as then all the pumps and hoses and of course platinum expansion if you have those DLCs. We have a pizzeria, a modded pizzeria, which is coming up here as just a trigger. And it looks like the fill types are fairly standard fill types, but we could put down a trigger pretty much anywhere we wanted with place anywhere on PC. Custom greenhouses, orchards, or generators are not available. We do have a modded cow barn right here. That's going to hold 60 cows. The rest of the animals are all fairly stock. Decoration. We have then some required mods that are going to provide us with the fences and curbing. We have a fair number of modded lights available to us on this map. And then under landscaping, we do have a decent quantity of paintable ground textures. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. Here we've got animal mud, asphalt, sand, cobblestone, concrete, another form of concrete. We love our concrete. We have plates, dirt, more dirt, farming is dirty. Even more dirt. You can never have enough more dirt. You got forest ground, grass, rocks, dry grass, gravel, gravel galore, even more gravel. Gravel with a little bit of green mixed in, light dirt. And then we have our rock. Uh, as far as trees go, we have all the standard FS22 trees available to put down. And then we have some custom plants and other type textures available to put down. We're not going to click through all of these because that is a whole lot. But we've got shrubs, we've got plants, we have different size rocks we can paint down. Big branches, little branches, different other ground textures, leaves, branches all types of stuff and then we can also just go ahead and well we can paint a field wherever wherever we want because you know what life's too short so let's be able to paint fields and we can do that right there all right let's go ahead and take a look at these textures We've got our dirt asphalt concrete we have our mud cobblestones or a plate Sand, wet sand, forest grounds. Lots of choices for the player that wants to customize and kind of redo the farm, which, by the way, we can do on this map. We do have the ability to customize everything, as the description said, on this starting farm. We can sell decorative elements like this manhole cover. Other areas like these asphalt squares, 
decorative elements like the tires that are leaning up against the building as well as the concrete fence that surrounds this entire farm and then of course the buildings and everything themselves so we start out with a bale of silage a couple of bales of silage a couple of bales of straw a couple of bales of hay we also have then solid fertilizer seed and lime bags part of our starting machinery It's always fun when everything is nice and neat and orderly. So we have our farmhouse. We have our sleep trigger at the mat. And then the wardrobe at the basket. That's what our the sports bag. That's what I kind of thought. Remember, everything can be sold here at the starting farm. We have our chicken, so we have our egg spawn point we have our chicken buy point 100 total chickens are available in this area and then we have our food trough for those chickens we've got our silage bunker with our harvester parked in it we have our silo our dump and fill points we have our cows with our slurry point we have our large greenhouse We have our food trough and a straw trough, a straw trigger. Total of 60 cows are available in this pen. And then we have our milk trigger. We have our manure heap located right there. And some more of our machinery. We have a fuel tank. We have a workshop trigger here at the farm. And then we have our power washer. Something I want to take a look at is the animals. So it is really not clear if this new crop that is available, this um, field grass, right? It's not clear if this field grass is something that we can feed our cows. And I have to say, since we can't sell the field grass, we are going to have to take a point off there. Not a whole point, but a quarter of a point off with respect to being able to sell all the basic crops, products, animal outputs. We do have field grass as a new crop, but it doesn't appear we can do anything with it. I don't know what field grass is going to be good for. It doesn't seem outwardly apparent that it's good for anything. So we are going to take a quarter point off. Maybe the map will get updated with some information and with a way of using the field grass but right now i'm not really understanding as a player what i would do with field grass on this map let me go ahead and get set up for the fly around we're going to fly around the map take a look at things from above talk about some more of our scoring aspects come back to her vehicle shop get in mahindra and drive around because this map she's a beauty and there are lots of elevation changes and i think it's important to be able to see the map from both above and ground level. I did also go ahead and buy the biogas plant because I want to see if we can indeed sell everything at the biogas plant. Because I think that would be maybe the first map since pumps and hoses came out where we could sell the BGA. So we are looking right over there at one of the build areas off of that flat plateau there off in the distance we got some production areas we have our bga up all over there in the southwest corner of the map and as we continue to rotate we've got a whole lot of production hidden behind that tree line there's a bit of a village there with production and such over to the left we also have another flat area where we can build out a farm there's our airplane yeah we'll keep panning around this is obviously very clearly built on Erlengrot as the 
kind of the basis of this particular map. And then we have our farm directly below. So directly across from our farm, we have a grocery store cell point. We have our grain mill over there. This map has 14 production areas built in, one of which is the bakery down below. We also have the large greenhouse at the main starting farm, an oil mill, cereal factory, grain processing center, a grain mill, sugar mill, tailor, we have carpentry, a sawmill, a dairy, a spinnery, BGA, and the biomass heating plant. Right here we have a gas station. I noticed a giant sign. And I was like, do we have giants? Giants headquarters on this map? But no, no giants headquarters. To make our way to the southeast corner, that's where we're going to check out one of these buildable areas. Remember the description said we can come in here with a mulcher and get rid of the bushes and shrubs. And then we have a large area here to build out however we see fit. Coming across the southern part of the map. This map does have some grapes pre-placed. We're going to see that over here by the BGA. believe our tailor is below our spinnery we'll take a closer look during the fly around here we have the pizzeria cell point the grapes are already pre-placed and then our biogas plant with the biomass heating plant as well as i said we went ahead and bought the biogas plant because i wanted to see if we can indeed sell things up here And then if we can, we can put down our own pumps and hoses BGA. There we have our biomass plant. So the decorations. It looks like the BGA itself, though, is not sellable. Hmm. I don't, maybe maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a limitation of the game. I don't know, but I would like to be able to see that as a possibility. That'd be cool, right? I mean, we got the ability to build out a BGA now an official DLC. We should be able to do that. Our sawmill is down below, as well as our carpentry facility. Making our way up the western side of the map now, we have more production cell points. We have other areas. Our vehicle shop is directly below down there. Our cereal factory, great processing. We make our windy way up the incline to the second build mode, which is our buildable area, which is over here in the northwest corner, just south of field one. Right here, another large flat area. We come in here, take out these trees, take out these shrubs. And then build in another farm, another industrial possible area. Our cereal factory is north of field five, located right there. And that's going to be the aerial tour of the map. Let's make our way back to our vehicle shop. Where we'll be able to then pick up our Mahindra and do our drive around. Now, I do have to say, the vehicle shop is a rather interesting orientation because you're coming into it at the street to the actual back of the dealer, which feels a little backwards to me, right? So here we have the street entrance, and we're coming into the back of the building. We have to now go around to the front of the building to actually get our shop trigger. And then we had a sales guy at the counter I saw. Oh, where'd he go? 
He was right there. Where'd he go? Maybe he's making sure that my purchase is properly located out here around back. Or should I say around front? So we have a an okay area for our vehicles to spawn in at. I mean, it's not... Rot I would like to see it rotated this way and move width-wise. But overall, the fields aren't all that big on this map anyway. So I'm not going to see you spawning in a huge harvester or other big machinery. Our vehicle workshop trigger is located over here on the side. So this is going to be our dealer buy, sell, repair, trade, and repaint trigger is located. And let's make our way across the map. We have a great processing center right across from the shop. This is the standard base game great processing center. So we have our pallet spawn point, interactive trigger, and great dump point around the back. Move on to our oil mill. Standard FS22 oil mill. So just make sure everything is clearly indicated. We have our pallet spawn point, our dump station, our interactive trigger. Across the street from that, we have our animal dealer. So we have the animal dealer trigger located right here. We have the ability to buy manure, it looks like. We also have our animal dealer dump cell trigger. Here we have the ability to buy bulk pig food, oats or horse food, wheat or chicken food, and then this is likely going to be total mixed rations. <laughs> Mineral feed. This, is this going to give us choice? No, that's wheat. Just like I thought. Over here, we're going to be able to buy slurry, it looks like. We have our tailor, so we have our wardrobe trigger, our fabric drop-off point, interactive trigger, and our clothing spawn point around the back. Our fuel station on the other side of the tailor. Here we have a farmer's market sell point, similar to that on Holt by the Rune. So we're going to come through here and sell our products and or our grain. We have our stone crusher. And another dump station for our products. Away we go. This is going to be our sawmill and carpentry facility. So we have our log dump point, our wood cell trigger. We can also remember sell containers of logs here at the sawmill. We have our pallet spawn point for our furniture, interactive trigger for our sawmill, dump station for our planks. Interactive trigger for our carpentry facility. There we are. And we'll make our way up and around some more.
Gaining a lot of altitude. This map, she is a looker. She's got a lot of nice sights. Be a decent map to just download and uh, kind of tour around. Drive around in. So we have our BGA. And while we've already sold a fair bit of the BGA just to checking things out, there was a shed over there. We have our biomass heating plant, which again is going to take and bring us wood chips or straw. And we're going to then basically be able to get heat as a sellable output and then also solid fertilizer. So we have our solid fertilizer fill point right there. We have our BGA digestate point. We have our dump point for our slurry and our digester and interactive trigger. Grapes are pre-placed over here on the right. Then we have a pizzeria cell point. Figure out how to get out of here. That may be a better access to the uh, to the grapes from the from the south. And then I believe this is going to be our spinnery. So we have our fabric pallet spawn point here on the right. We have our interactive trigger. And then our wool and cotton dump point around the back. We're gonna make our way up to that build area. I believe this is what's gonna take us up to there. Yep, here we are at the overgrown potential build site. Looks like there might be some need to do some leveling there. Rough road, rough road, you're gonna wanna smooth that out. I think. Yeah, we'll make our way back down here to civilization. Here we have our dairy. The dairy is where we're gonna be bringing our soybeans for our soy milk. Let's go ahead and buy that facility and show you what we're talking about here. So we're going to be able to do our butter, cheese, chocolate, and soy drink. Soy drink is going to require water, soybeans, and sugar. We're going to get then our soy drink out of the dairy. So we have our dump point for our various input products, our pallet spawn point here around the back. Here we have our grain mill, dump point, pallet spawn point, and interactive icon. 
Let's go ahead and get rid of our wheat. Making our way through town. The next point of interest is going to be our bakery. Out spawn point, dump grate, and interactive trigger around the front. We have another cell point. Fairly easy to get in and out of these cell points, which is good to see. Feel like they've been well thought out. And we're back to where we kind of started the drive around with our fuel point. We'll make our way up the hill to the cereal factory. Again, is north of field five. Just taking a look across the map there. I think this is a great map if you are looking to play with small to medium sized stuff. So let's talk about a scoring here. It's so absorbed with everything that's so densely packed on this map, we've kind of missed our scoring opportunity to discussions. 14 production areas on this map. So we're going to get the map at full point there. I think we've already listed through the various production items. A quarter of a point is being taken off because we don't appear to have the ability to do anything with the new field grass prop. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with that. We also have heating that's going to auto sell and then our soy milk. The farms can indeed be customized. So we are going to give the map a full point there. Buildings where appropriate are using the new texturing technique. These are, for the most part, all FS-22 stock buildings from one of the three base maps anyway. Oh, what is this? What is this little area? Huh. And as we have seen, player interactive areas do appear to be clearly marked. We have our interactive point, pile point, dump point here at our cereal factory. So we are going to give this map a score of 4.75 out of 5. A very, very respectable score. There is a lot going on on this map. It is all tightly compacted in here. We have had very little opportunity really to to think about what is going on we have so much to look at so much to say and talk about on this map let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to new mini brun did you play this map or did you play mini brun the precursor to this map in a farm sim 19 and are you going to pick up the charge and play the new mini brun map in farm sim 22 so here we have that buildable area in the northwest. A little overgrown. But nothing a good mulcher can't clear out in a fairly short order. And like I said earlier, this map is chocked full of great views. And until next time, Happy farming.